Hello everybody, it's Tuesday. It's actually uh, 23 after 5 in the morning. It is, we'll say 67 degrees. <sighs> Bike's running, you see it's foggy out. Froggy rabbit. So since it's froggy out, I'm gonna flip my lights on. Woo! That's for my thing there. Ah, back lights on. They stay on. Okay, I can see a little better. They people can see me better. I am upset. And, and I'll tell you what just before I start this freaking video out. So we're gonna go ahead and stop. I'm gonna probably take the long way around or maybe take make two videos and put it into one. But anyway uh, first off goes off to um I'm gonna use this word I don't use it very often for good reasons. Goes out to my brother Feck P and E I'll call him my brother. I respect him enough. I feel close enough to him. And uh, I'll just say, uh, I'll, put a, I'll put a link to his, his video down in the description. But uh, I'll say, uh, Vic, my, uh, my wishes, my prayers, my thoughts goes out to you and your wife and your family. Um, and that's all. I'll just leave it go at that. But what we're going to talk about today. Hmm. We'll talk about, uh, yes, yesterday I came across a article on the Google feed, and, and, it pissed me off, part of my language. It made me irritated. You may say, oh, well, how did it irritate you? Well, this is how it did it. It was about how the thumpers are going to die. It's going to be good and extinct. You know what? I should turn around. I'm gonna turn around. They're gonna go extinct. I don't know how they're gonna do it. Well, the EPA is gonna do it for us. This is how they're gonna do it. I'll talk about the KLR. Because I know more about the KLR than the other bikes. And this is for the non EFI. Holy cow. I'm going to see. I'm going to raise my hood, my visor, so I can see better. The non EFI. You're going to get wind noise, and I apologize for that ahead of time. <laughs> non EFI. Big bore. 650 mode bikes they're they're dual sports normally well they work they're dual sports now they're called sport adventure bikes and uh, holy cow is a foggy up are you up here come on they're called sport adventure bikes now or whatever you want to call them and, you know I'll give you a quick wipe sorry guys and uh, my glasses are all impossible to see out of two. But the thing what comes about, well, I'll wipe my glasses off. The thing what comes about is the EPA says they are oil burns, but they are. They, they slightly burn oil, especially whenever they get above certain mileage. The KLR 650, let's go into it. A little bit of history about the KLR 650. The first KLR, from what I can find out, ruled out in 1984. It was a KLR 600. The KLR 600 ruled out. Minor changes was done. They called it the 650. Okay, guys. They called it the 650, they called it 650 cc, of course, of course there's more cc's than that, but it is what it is. They round it down. Can't roll, push that down. Six hundred and fifty cc. Okay, in uh, they are they already have the single cylinder. 
so what they ended up what it does a six cylinder I'm gonna talk about the goat the goat is gen 2 biggest difference on the gen 2 from gen 1 is basically there's nothing really been changed too much on the engine the engine hasn't really changed that much at all through the years much at all but what they have done is they changed the fairings it's more of a sportier look which I prefer the sportier look myself now whenever I get down here if I get a red light I'll wipe these guys off with the sportier look and but everything else has been the engine wise it hasn't really been touched much okay Normally, from understand, and this is how, this is going across the board uh, on the forms and stuff. It's common for these bikes. If you hold it above five grand for a certain period of time, and another bike, no fog, it, they start, they smoke, they burn a little bit of oil. Okay, you just don't do it unless you have to. Just check, change your oil, check your oil afterwards. That's all you do. They. Uh, uh, cylinders, they turn egg-shaped after so many miles. Well, it's normally around 50,000 from understand, give or take. And at that, we will, I will, I will say what we'll find out whenever I get there. That'll burn oil. But other than that, they, they, they burn, they, they do burn a, little, none, they burn a little bit more oil than the, the other multi-cylinder engines. And the way to fix it permanently is to put an EFI into it. Electronic fuel ignition. Fuel uh, injection. That's what you do. Well. What does that, uh, Kawasaki doesn't want to do that. Why? Because it raises the price of the bike. The reason why the uh, dumpers, as we call, we call them, are so light is because they are easy to work on, because they're third carbureted. They're cheap, they're reliable. You can fix them alongside the trail if you need to. No problem. If you put the EFI into it, well, that goes out the door. They get more expensive. You really can't fix them along the trail. If, it, if you create, a, if a problem gets, gets created, blah blah blah. Kawasaki doesn't really want to do that. From what I understand, from what I see, Kawasaki isn't going to do it. So what does it? Was it going to happen? Well, I end up probably end up due to the EPA. Kawasaki is probably going to drop the KLR line, which throws out throws them out for. A whole thing, a whole, whole group of people that want to buy the dual sports. Well, you say dual sport, you can get a smaller engine. Yeah, they don't have the bigger, bigger engines that have more power. Huh. But to say, so, to say back and forth on that, we can. I mean, we can argue all day long. Sorry, I want to clean off your front lens a little bit. But I mean, it, it is what it is. They're going to lose out. That means more likely parts are going to be less, get, get less and less, less down the road to be able to get to repair these things. Oh, we're probably talking 20, 30 years. So, I am totally irritated because the EPA is governing this. And I mean, by all rights, in my eyes, the EPA is part of the government. We should not have to put up with this. I mean, first, let me see if I can, yeah. First, I'll go ahead, the first thing was they're basically shutting down two cycle, which they are smokers. Make, make, I'm not, I do believe in trying to make the world more healthier. Yes, I do. I'm not a tree hugger. Let's save what we, what we can. But, I mean, this is bull crap. We should, I mean, there's ways to rally up, not, I'm going to say, shouldn't say rally, there's ways that we can contest this, and it should be done, 
If you should put a hold on, I mean, you, it's one of those deals, you give them an inch, they're taking on freaking everything. And it should not be that way. Um, I'm not very good at rant videos, never was. But, I mean, this is kind of my form of the rant videos, but, I mean, I'm just putting it out there. I'm just putting it out there, guys. I mean, the, the, these, these things has a big following, believe it or not. I'm, I'm, I was surprised how big of a following they have. And they're, they're just shutting them down. Now there is, like, I think it's, uh, and actually they weren't, weren't after the KL, the KLR to start with. They, they were after another motor, another bike brand. <laughs> but KLR was a, a thumper, so it fell into that bracket. And there is brands out there that are wanting, that they're going other routes, putting EFIs on. And you figure out, EFIs, you're going to put an EFI on a KLR, it's going to end up around nine, eight, nine thousand, probably about nine, ten thousand, really. And, I mean, that, 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 that knocks a lot of people out of getting a new bike. So, my eyes, guys, this is just a warning. If you're looking into getting a KLR, get it soon. Get it real soon. Because they're not going to be... They're probably more than likely not going to be sold in a short bit. Well, this is it. This is Muzzle Mike. Hope you all have a great week, a great day, signing out.